Erkin here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something that is so very exciting for me and that is getting the COVID-19 vaccine. More specifically the Johnson & Johnson vaccine that arrived in Bloemfontein just a few days ago. Being a medical student and someone who's going to be in clinical rotations very soon, it's very important for me to get the vaccine to protect myself and to protect others. One thing before we continue with the video, as always, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. So first things first, how did I register for the vaccine? Well, I did it through my university. It was a very organized process. They sent us the link and we were required to input all of our necessary information. For example, our ID, our professional registration number, etc. So we filled that in, we received a confirmation SMS. Thereafter, we completed a consent form, which is by Sisonke. Thereafter, I got another SMS, which sent me a voucher code, which is necessary for when I need to present myself to get the vaccine itself. Now, what I'm going to be talking about is what I needed to take to the vaccine site. So I needed to take a copy of my ID, I filled out the COVID um, application form as well as the consent form beforehand because it saves time. Now what you're going to see next are some pictures of the forms that I completed as well as me at the vaccine site getting my vaccine and I will catch up with you guys afterwards to tell you exactly how I'm feeling. there with the two forms that I showed you guys beforehand with my COVID vaccination form as well as my consent form. There were a few other forms that uh, I had to fill which was another consent form. Every few minutes we will sanitize our hands and we practice social distancing. So the actual process of it, it was very easy, very organized in the Universitas Hospital where I did get the vaccine. So I waited my turn, I went into the room, they again explained to me what the side effects could possibly be, which they tell you beforehand, before you give your consent for the vaccine. Thereafter, they just, you know, clean where you're going to get the vaccine as usual. Nothing uh, changed. And then you get a vaccine on your arm. I got it on my left arm, my non-dominant hand. When I did get the vaccine, it was a slight stinging pain as normal with all injections. And my hand did feel slight uh, pain in it. But again, that's normal with all injections, nothing out of the ordinary. Currently, I feel normal just like I did before the vaccine. So that is great. Afterwards, uh, after I got the vaccine, I was moved into an area where the other people who had gotten the vaccine were just sitting and we had our blood pressure taken. We had our oxygen levels also checked. So mine was normal, my blood pressure was normal, my oxygen saturation, my levels were normal. And then, so I waited in the observation room for about 15 minutes and then I left. I came back to where I stay and I've been fine ever since. Guys, so it is 48 hours later. I didn't take a video yesterday because I was really feeling sick. So let me just tell you now exactly what I felt yesterday, which is a day after the vaccine. So it was a very terrible first night for me after the vaccine, which was expected. They did say I would experience these side effects and that's just my immune response kicking in. I did have it worse than my friends. My friends only had body pain and chills. I did have a migraine. I did have vomiting with the migraine and nausea. I did take a panado which did help me to sleep and that is basically all I took. So that was me yesterday. I was, I had a fever, I had chills. Basically the first night for me, the first day for me, I was very ill, very weak, very tired, as can be expected, they did say in the consent form that I signed that its side effects are more severe for young adults. So it was expected. Um, so the second night, I did seem to be getting better. But the only thing was I was sweating the whole entire night. Um, so that was uncomfortable. But um, that was the only thing. So that's how I knew I was getting better. 
48 hours later, the second day, which is today, I felt no symptoms. I am absolutely okay. The only thing I think in the morning of today, I did feel, you know, tired, fatigued, and I did feel weak. Otherwise, I was perfectly fine. I am perfectly fine right now, like I was before I got the vaccine. My final thoughts on the vaccine that I took, which again, as a reminder, I took the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. I do believe that taking the vaccine and achieving herd immunity, especially with third wave coming, is definitely beneficial to you as well as those around you. So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed my video. You learned something from it and through my experience and you can make your decision wisely. Before I go, I just want to leave my Instagram handle right here because I am going to be notifying my followers in a week's time exactly how I feel and if anything has changed. So if you are interested to know, definitely give me a follow there. Last thing, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.